What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a corrupted registry in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can go about fixing this. Now, what happens when you get a corrupted registry? You're going to get error messages, a blue screen of death and all sorts of other uh, problems with your computer until that problem is resolved. And there's a bunch of ways of resolving a corrupted registry. So let's start off with a first method. Go down to the uh, search box here and we're going to be typing in here CMD. This is so we can open up the command prompt. So open up your search and type CMD and click on run as administrator. If a little UAC prompt box pops up, say yes to open up the command prompt. And there we are. We've got our administrator command prompt open. And the first one we're going to type is SFC space forward slash scan now. And basically this will run a scan on your computer. Now you could have a corruption with your Windows system files and this can also corrupt registry entries by running the SFC scan. Now you can see it did detect a bunch of errors and found a corrupt files and basically successfully repaired those for us, as you can see here. Now sometimes it has trouble repairing those, but if you do get that message and it says it's repaired them, then you've obviously repaired your corrupted registry or system files. So our next scan is going to be the DISM online cleanup dash image uh, scan health uh, command, which we're going to run here. And basically this is going to run another scan on our computer. This is going to check for component store corruption and hopefully tell us some information. You can see mine is uh, not corrupted, which means it's good. Uh, but if yours is, then you can run the restore command which is the command you can see on the screen right now. So I'm going to quickly run this on the computer and hopefully our problem will be resolved. I've speeded this process up and you can see this operation has been completed successfully. So you can try those steps there to try and resolve a corrupted registry on your system. So let's move on to the next method or next solution that you can try. And let's go to start settings and then file explorer. This will open up the uh, this PC window here and I've got a backup of my registry. Now, if you've made a backup of your registry like this one here, then you can use this to fix registry issues. So I'm going to be importing this back into the registry to try and resolve a problem. To do that, we need to open up the registry editor by typing reg edit in the search box here. And once we've opened this up, you should see something looking like this. Make sure you're selecting where it says computer here on that computer here. That's where we need to be selected. Go file and you should see import. Now it's no good exporting the uh, registry at this stage because you've already got a corrupted registry, but we're going to import in this case. And I'm going to locate my backup that I have, which is on my C root directory here. I'm going to select this one, click open, and then this will import the registry files into our registry like so. It does take a bit of time, so be patient and let that do its thing. Once that's been created, you can reboot the system and hopefully your corrupted registry has been resolved and fixed. So it's always nice to have a backup of your registry. I'm just going to let this finish off here and hopefully this will go back to our desktop once this is complete. There we go. So once that's done, You've now imported your registry from a backup that you had. Just make sure that it's a very latest registry backup and not a really old one. For our next method, we're going to try system restore. So go to uh, the search box and type restore. And this will give you the option to click on create a restore point here. Now, if you have got system restore points available, you can use those to roll back to. You can see on my C drive, I have got system restore enabled. And if you've been keeping regular restore points, then you can roll back to one of those ones that were working before you've got a corrupted registry. So I'm going to click next here, and then you can choose which restore point you want to go back to that was working fine. So I'm going to go back to this one here, and you can choose which one uh, suits you. So go next, and then choose your drive, and then click finish, and this will ask you once this is started, system restore point cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Say yes here if you want to restore the system back using system restore point. 
Now, of course, by default, System Restore is off, so you will need to have this enabled to be able to do this. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use this method. So let that attempt a System Restore. It will then reboot the system and restore the PC. We'll just let that do its thing. It's going to restart. And then it's going to do a System Restore point here. It's being restored. It's just initializing uh, the system restore and then it will boot up the system back to the desktop and hopefully everything went smoothly and you've now got your PC back up and running. So we'll just let this uh, load back up. It does take a bit of time to boot up and these sort of things you just have to have a bit of patience uh, to let it continue to do its thing and normally it does take a bit of time so be patient there and try not to interrupt the uh, boot process. So I'm just letting this load in and finish off. And hopefully this will resolve your problem. Now, if you've got no system restore points, we've still got a couple of other things we can try. And I'll show you those after this one is completed. And there we go. We should see, let's finish setting up your device. I'm going to skip this one here. And this will take us straight onto the desktop. There we go. Okay, so let's try another method here. What you can do is go to settings here. And what you want to do is go to update and security on this one. So click update and security and go down to recovery. And then you should see here, res reset this PC. Now, obviously at this stage, you're running out of options to try and get the PC back up to a working state. And this is more destructive. So you can see here, keep my files, remove apps and settings, but keep my personalized files or you can remove everything and reinstall Windows. But if you did this one, it's going to download Windows and basically reinstall Windows for you. You will lose all your apps, but your data should be safe. But it might be advisable to back up your data just in case something goes wrong. So I'm going to click Cloud Download here, and you could see now Download and Reinstall Windows, and that's what it's basically going to do here. So you can now click on Next, and this will start the a process of resetting your PC back to a working state. Again, this is a little bit more destructive, but this is the options that you're only going to be available to you at this stage uh, if you've tried all the previous uh, options. So this is going to get a few things ready, and then once you hit the reset button, it's going to go back and reinstall Windows for you. Uh, again, it will remove all the apps and programs from your PC, but your personal data should be safe. But it's always best to back up that using different methods. Okay, so that is that method out of the way. What else can you do if um, you don't want to do that method? So the other option you've got is to perform a Windows 10 in place upgrade repair, and you can go to the internet and download the media creation tool for Windows 10 off of Microsoft's website. Once you've downloaded this, you'll be able to run it. So let me just go ahead and download this program. And once we've got this downloaded, I'll show you what to do. So download the Windows 10 installation media. You should see it now, download tool now, click on this one. And the tool will come down, so very quick download, open the tool up. And once we've got the tool open, say yes to the user account control. And you should now see getting a few things ready. And then you'll get your license agreement, which you'll have to agree to. And then we can get a an option to run the in-place upgrade for our system. This does take a little bit of time, so be patient here. Let that load up. There we go. So now we can accept those terms and then move on to the next step, which is uh, our options, which we'll have available to us. So we're just going to let that load in. These things do take a bit of time, so just be patient. And then once this is done, we should get an option available here. There we go. So now what do you want to do next? Well, it says upgrade this PC now, and that's the option you're going to go for here. Click next and let this uh, go through its uh, paces and do its thing. And you can see here it's going to start downloading Windows 10. And once this is downloaded, it will start to install Windows 10 over the top of your previous installation. Now, you may be tempted to download tools like registry repair tools and other tools like these and to be honest i've never had much success with these uh, and a lot of people do use them but i've really not had much success at fixing any sort of problems with my computer what it's going to do is scan the pc and find a lot of obsolete 
uh, registry entries. These can be orphaned entries. Basically, when you've uninstalled software, there's a small fragment of registry keys left behind which are not used anymore. And this is all this program's going to do. Find these locations and literally list them out, as you can see here, and then allow you to uh, clean these. There's 665 entries here. So it's not going to really fix a problem with your registry as such. It's just going to find all the junk registry entries, empty registry files and stuff like that and list them here. And you can fix these errors and they call them errors, but they're really not. And you can then fix these and remove them from the PC. Again, I just want to claim that I've never had any registry cleaning tool fix any sort of errors on my registry. It just claims that it does, but it's just removing old entries uh, from the registry. Anyway, I'll leave that with you. Uh, whether you want to use them or not, it's entirely up to you. I wouldn't. They do more damage than good sometimes. My name has been Brian from biotechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.